So good morning and welcome along to Eclipse this morning. Quick look around this one. This is a silver Venom. So Venom in a slightly different colour. This is going out to our customer Matthew. And this is going to be the first ride test that we do on this machine for the customer. And obviously just to show him what is going on with the bike. So we're going to take this out. We're going to give him a ride. And the customer gets to see the bike ridden. So starting from the off. All the lights go off. Nice easy display of the dash again. And currently zero miles on this. So this is going to be the first ride test. So we're going to take this one out. And if you happen to look down, you may notice that I have no mirrors on this at the moment. And obviously for the purposes of ride testing, I always shoulder check. It is not illegal to ride without mirrors. And we unpacked this one from the crate and found that they had sent the incorrect mirrors for this bike. So I have ordered another set. They will be on by the time I get round to do my second ride test on PDI. And that is why we do a PDI and QC test on every bike that comes in. Technician went to fit them, wasn't happy with the fit of the mirrors, so a new set has been ordered under warranty. And that is warranty what is there for. So we're going to take this one out, crack some mileage up on it, and sit in at a nice steady 40-42 as we always do. So obviously we're going to get the mileage on this. It is booked in again for, I believe, a tomorrow morning to have the mirrors fitted. I have been told that the mirrors are on the way. But as we say, not an issue. So the bike ticking over nicely. Brakes and all the levers and all the heights of everything have all been checked. Clutch biting point, absolutely spot on. Putting through the box, get it up to fifth as quick as we can and then bring the revs up from 5th gear. And it gets up the speed very, very quickly. Foot placement, very, very nice. Gear lever is exactly the right place that I need it to be. So get my foot under and my foot above. So technicians done absolutely 100% job on this. I say the only issue, I need a set of mirrors. Hence, the occasional shoulder check every now and then, just to make sure that I can uh, check traffic. And obviously I will be doing that a lot on the corners. But as with all these little Lexmodo bikes, they do run absolutely superb, straight out the box. And I'd say 99.9% .9 of them are absolutely spot on. And if you watched a previous video that we did, we had a uh, Titan that come in, did throw an engine light, and we did a scan on it, and it was one of the O2 sensors, Lambda sensor as they call it. Technician done his routine and found it had not been uh, plugged in at the factory, so very, very simple issue, but I'd already got uh, another one ordered under warranty just in case, so well done Lexmoto, got that out, that came out yesterday morning. Went to do the repair loop and didn't need it, so I do have now a spare one, which will come in handy. So a lot happening at the garage this week. And uh, we are fast running out of bikes. Our next delivery is due August the 18th. We have had two Nanos come in and another Isca, so if you're in the market for an Isca, and we was on the Lexmodo forum last night, asking about Iskas and uh, I believe we now have two in stock so if you're in the market for either an Assault and Isca we've got one of those I will get round as I keep telling everybody I will get round to riding these riots it's just finding the time in my busy schedule to actually uh, make sure that uh, I get out and get a ride on one of these bikes Coddling on very nicely and then just varying the throttle control just slightly 38 and then just bring it back up 42 back down to 40 38 42 40 so just 
intending to sort of vary the throttle response, not just keep it at one rev, just working my way through. But that uh, nice little dashboard in front of me telling me exactly what I need to know. And if you happen to be in the market for an LXR, we are awaiting the next batch. We are taking pre-orders on absolutely everything coming in. So we've got bikes ordered. What I would say is, wherever you are in the country, if the dealer hasn't got it in stock, ask if you can put a deposit on a pre-order. Because once those bikes come in, you are going to be struggling to get yourself a bike. So do what uh, most of them say, get yourself a pre-order in, reserve yourself a bike. I know it's going to be a little bit of a wait, and then obviously the uh, prep time on bikes normally about 14 to 20 days depending on uh, dealers obviously if a dealer says he's going to turn a bike around in three days be very very wary especially if they're only going to put about five or six miles on a bike and we have had a lot of obviously issues on the forum going to come in hard on that front brake and stop it up that is nice so it does the job effectively, both brake circuits are working absolutely spot on, brakes have already been sort of bedded in during run testing. So just pulling it through the box again, out the way Mr Pigeon. And this time we're going to come in on the back brake circuit and just pull it up on those combined brakes we go. And just pulling through the box again. And just rev matching it down as you can see. It goes through the gearbox absolutely perfectly. new rubber on this. It's starting to bed in very very well. I do love these new sets of tyres that Lex Moto are putting on these bikes. A lot better than the old ones I used to have. So they really up the game on the tyres. And just moving out into the flow of traffic again. Now if you have uh, looked at my feeds and uh, you happen to live in Milton Keynes you'd be happy to know lockdown's been uh, eased up from the 4th of July which means that my favourite biker cafe is now open from the 4th of July hooray we can now all run out again to our favourite bike cap the Super Sausage and uh, we should be up there the first Sunday after the 4th of July, so if you happen to be in the area, you fancy a ride out, let me know on uh, my page, on the Facebook, and we'll organise a ride out for you uh, Lex Polo owners if you happen to live local to Milton Keynes. Can have a ride out with you guys. It should be a nice Sunday morning out now. I have spoken to obviously the owner of Super Sausage, Chris. And he said it is going to be exceptionally busy that first Sunday because all the bikes are going to want to get out, have their bacon and sausage roll, have their full English. And obviously they are doing food from the calf, but uh, there's a few slightly different rules in place, so it's not going to be full on queuing for food. I think he's going to try and change things up a little bit. <coughs> but we'll see how we go from there. So we're going to crack some extra mileage on this. We're going to uh, cut this video short, get the mileage on, and then what I will be doing is a second ride test on this once my mirrors are in stock and fitted to the bike. But this one's going out to our Custom Matthew, and just to show him that the bike is running effectively. We've got no issues with the bike whatsoever, hence why we do these ride tests. 
to make sure that uh, nothing is going to happen. If it is going to happen, it's going to happen in the first 20 miles. Normally, that's when we highlight all the issues of the bike. So, going to ease up now. Whatever you're doing this week, have yourself a good one. If you're riding, ride safely. If you're still stuck at home, be well, guys. Till the next time, it's a goodbye from me.